Is there a way to make cold brewed coffee from home without all of the hassle? Stay tuned to find out. I'm Reed Cardwell, and on this channel, we just talk to people about how to make home improvements, how to grow their own food, and just how to make life a little bit easier. Welcome to my kitchen. This week's video is inspired by my friend Keith over at KeithTube. If you haven't seen his channel, link is in the description below. But specifically, he did a video a couple weeks ago on how he enjoys iced coffee. However, he said the reason he doesn't like to make it himself is because the process is so involved. I did a quick Google just to see what I could find on making cold brewed coffee yourself at home. First, you grind the coffee beans into a coarse grind. Okay, no problem. Combine the ground coffee and water in the jar. Jar. Stir to incorporate. Then steep the coffee overnight in the fridge. Strain the coffee concentrate. Now when I looked at the details on that, there are cheesecloths involved and you pour it from one container through the cheesecloth. You've got to catch all those coffee grounds into another. Then you transfer the cold brew from that container into another clean jar for long-term storage. I see his point. There's a lot involved in that. So for those of you who have never had it and aren't aware, a good cup of cold brew coffee is not the same as cold coffee. Game over. So the question is, is there an alternative besides this long involved process with jars and cheesecloths and straining and all this stuff? And I found out that there is. Several months ago, I purchased this pot on Amazon. Now, when I got it, it was called a Coffee Panda. Now the same product is called a Coffee Bear. Why did they change the name? Don't know. Don't care. It works great. So let me show you how this works. First things first, anybody who enjoys a good cup of coffee will tell you that a good cup of coffee is based on good coffee. Alamance Coffee Works. Now this is one of my favorites, the Mexico Blend. I'll put the link in the description to their website if you'd like to order coffee from them. But the two guys that make this coffee are very passionate about the coffee that they drink. And so I want to share that experience with others. They do the small roastings and each one is individual and they're very delicious. Now, admittedly, so far we haven't done a whole lot different from the instructions I read from the internet. The beauty is in the next step. But for now, what we'll do is we'll put this in the refrigerator for at least 12 hours. The instructions said 12 hours to 24 hours. I find personally that I get the best brews in 48 hours. So maybe you'll want more than one of these at a time because I can get a good three cups out of this. So, your mileage may vary. Now we wait. Okay, it's been a couple of days. Let's look in the refrigerator and see what we have. That's a good looking pot of cold brew coffee. Let's pour a glass, shall we? And 
that, my friends, is how you make cold brew coffee. So does that look like something you might try at home? Let me know down in the comments below if you are. What's your favorite roast? What might you try that with? Keith, I hope you found a way that you can make that cold brew at home without all the hassle. If you enjoy this content, hit the subscribe button below so you won't miss any future videos. Thanks, and we'll see you later.